caravan club site. It's a site of. It's a site of uh, 90 caravan spaces. No tents allowed. 90 caravan spaces and two uh, service points, you know, where you put your wheeze and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to basically say that this is far better than the other one. The other one seemed to be the world between life and death. You know, imagine caravanners pass from this mortal coil and while you're waiting to be sorted into where you're going, you go to a caravan site. That was the last one we were at, right? This one has a bit more to it. Okay, it's quiet, but you see people walking past your caravan for a start, uh, whereas the other one, you didn't. So I'm going to take you for a little walk around the sides again, like I did before. But this time I have the aid of a little Bluetooth button. Woo! Yeah, so I can do this. Um, arr. See what I did there? Yay! I can pause and um, record. So I'm going to take you out now for a little tour around the park. Okay, I'm not going to shout too loud because there is a few more people on this side and I don't want to look like a nutter. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to give you a little 360 um, spin round. Fred Astaire has got nothing on me. See? It's what you class as your... Hello, Sue. Hi. There's Sue. <laughs> right? But it's what you class as your normal sight. And I quite, I quite like it, you know? And you're not a million miles from nowhere. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm going to take you now. Um, we've just had a lovely fish and chip. Ah, there's a thing. Round here, they don't call it fish and chips. They call it fish, fish stopper. stopper. So if you're round here and you want fish and chips, you've got to ask for a fish stopper. So there you go. So we're going to take the fish supper boxes to the service point and I'll take you there now. Your button's not working. Hang on. Right. This is one of the service points. And there is Sue just about to dispose of our... F Slowly now, Sue. Sh Sue is going to demonstrate. There you go. Into the recycling. We're green, you know. Now, here you obviously have your... This is what I like. Your bins, yeah? And your water point and your grey water point and your wee disposal point is all together so you haven't got to go around with your, your wee in a box you know, taking the piss L looking for it like an idiot when you haven't taken it before so anyway and there's two of these around the site I'll see you in a bit right I'm outside the toilet block now <laughs> you shouldn't stay here too long because you get a name for yourself right there's male and female toilets here obviously there is this a disabled block there's also a chemical uh, waste disposal here and you can see the block behind me. Um, and there's also a laundry and drying room. Um, that's really all I can say about a toilet block. Um, oh, and the feature I forgot, if you want to know where to poo, ask Sue. There you go. It's me again. The toilets are spotless. Um, the only thing I would say is that my shower this morning wasn't very powerful, but that may have been the shower I was in. Yeah, because mine was all right. Yeah, yours was all right. It's not my sexual <laughs> But the toilets and the showers are spotless, absolutely spotless, so no problem there. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. Right, moving on. Um, I'll see you in a bit when I take you somewhere else. I don't know if you can hear me because the wind has picked up. Even the wind is louder here than it was in the Lake District. Let's say something. Anyway, this is, the, this is the other end of the park. See, it's much the same as the other end. I must admit, though, the views around the park are not like they were in the Lake District. So you haven't got the hills and stuff because you are quite close to Air um, Town Centre. So it's just what you call your normal park. Right, now I'm going to take you to... Um, hello, Sue. Hi. Um, where you come in, basically. This is the entrance behind me where you first come in. And you check in at this place behind me. Now, I always sit there with the caravan whilst Sue goes and checks us in. And one thing she did say was... Oh, they are so lovely in there. Um, and when we first come in, when we, when we first drove in here, there was a guy cutting the hedge and cutting the grass. He gave us a lovely smile, a bit like your granddad. Um, now over here, you've got a lovely information centre. Da -da, which Sue is demonstrating. And inside you've got all local information on where to go and what to do. Um, you know, local places to eat and things yes, like that. Jigsaws. Oh, and jigsaws, just in case the kids get bored or the adults get bored. Who, who likes jigsaws, adults or kids? Don't know, anyone, but anyway. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, lovely people. No, I won't get, I won't, I won't see you in a bit, I'll see you now. Um, oh, gone wrong way. Hang on, we can't get through that way. No, nice people. Hello, Sue. Hello. Um, yeah, there's, 
there's just nice people here. It's a nice site. It's a really nice site. Lovely people. Lovely people, lovely site. Um, do you know what? I might as well just take a little walk now so you can get a feel for it. And I'm going to shut up for a bit. You can see behind me. Oh, I said I shut up, didn't I? But I can't. You can see behind me where, where, we, where you first come in. You can just get a general feel for the place as I walk around. They're all hard standing pitches. I'm going to do a little tweezle for you. Walk backwards. See? And you can see all around you. And again, it's a quiet, it's a quiet site, but because you're close to the centre, you can hear a buzz of traffic, like a distant buzz of traffic. But at least it lets you know you're alive. And people that's, speak as well. And people speak, people say hello, and they don't whisper, they don't go, hello. They actually go, hello. Um, so that's it. I'm going to take it now to see the children's play area. One thing I would mention, there's a lot of trees here. Tree. You could always ask that nice lady now if she'd give her opinion on the subject. The lady that I was talking to was that one looks like they're fat now, perhaps she's done. trees. This is the children's play area. Can't say too much about this because I've got no trogs. Oh and there's another thing, got no dog either. Um, but I don't think there is an actual specified dog walking place here because um, people tend to walk their dogs. There's walks by the river. I, I, there's walks by the river, Sue just added, because we are next to the river air. Um, yeah, and just outside, just out, you can walk into the town centre from here. It's about 20 minute river walk, yeah. 10, 20 minute river walk into the, into the centre. And you're not far from the beach either, which we're going to have a visit to tonight, I think. But I'm not going to walk because I've just had my fish supper. Um, and I'm, I'm, you know, I haven't really walked anywhere since I passed my driving test at the age of 18. There you go. Um, so anyway, I'm going to jump back in the caravan now. And tell you things to do right then so since we've been here we you can drive probably half an hour up the north of the coast and catch a ferry over to Aaron you know the place of the itchy 1970s jumpers that your mom used to make you wear um but one of the ferries broke so we didn't go so instead we went down past there again and about 20 minutes further south to a place called Culzine Castle and Country Park. Now, I tell you, that is the place to visit. Because we are um, nation thank you, Sue, National Trust members, we got it free and we saved about 60 quid. So I urge you, if you're going to do a tour of Scotland, join! Because so far, both the things we've been to, the, the, the boat at um, Lake Coniston and this, have been free. So already a hundred pound been saved and you can spend a full day there it tells you all the story of the kennedy family um a, a famous a famous family in scotland um they're all called archibald though for some reason and there's a lovely guy called bill that does a lovely tour around the place and it's really interesting i urge you just jump on that tour and listen to him he's a good guy to listen to and he's he's not boring um yeah and today we have been to edinburgh now that is a bit of a jaunt um we went around edinburgh castle but to be fair I preferred Colzine Castle. Yeah. There was a lot of people in Edinburgh Castle. A hell of a lot of people. Um, and it's not even school holidays. And But I don't like walking like a penguin. You know when you're sort of edging along? Does me edging. But anyway. Yeah, Edinburgh went over the Forth Bridge. And um, saw the Forth Rail Bridge over the Firth. And they're building a new bridge. So I've never seen a bridge half finished. It looked like a pier. Um, yeah, and, that, and but it was about... One thing I didn't think about it. we left at about we left at edinburgh at about quarter to five i don't know what made me think scotland don't have rush hours because they do so it took us three hours to get back which is why we had a fish supper remember it's not fish and chips it's fish fish supper um that's it so mark's out of 10 for this place i would i would give I'd, would you give it a 10 yeah yeah, yeah we'd nice. give this place 10 out of 10 
absolutely beautiful site. Just in case you can't remember what it's called, it's Air Craggy Gardens. 